As Furukawa convinces investors that the switch has forward momentum moving in the right direction and continuing to gain and grow, developers and publishers support his cause by announcing new Switch games each and every week. While the power train of new projects this week isn't necessarily the greatest, but there is a whole lot of creativity here, and we're going to get straight into it with seven new Switch games Zero release date updates game. Yeah, that Zero. doesn't happen that often, Zach. I, I like this. Holy I like cow. the fact that we're not updating anybody on a release date. Yeah, E3 is around the corner. That's where release dates will be unveiled, hopefully. Sometimes they choose not to, but hopefully they'll do it this time. Uh, but today it's all about the new games. Before we get to them, though, let's talk giveaways. Each and every week on our new Thursday Switch Games video, we give away a Switch game. And last week it was SteamWorld Quest, and the lucky winner is... PJ Lacey, who very, very astutely identified Meow Motors as the game uh, that he was most excited for. So congrats, we'll be in touch and get you that game. Once again, we're giving away SteamWorld Quest because that game deserves more love. It deserves to climb those eShop charts. It's fantastic, and we're giving away a code. All you gotta do is like the video and let us know in the comments down below which of the following games you are most hyped for and why. All right, Gabe, without further ado, let's crush this list like you crush cake. I don't like cake, and you know this, but now you're telling people I like cake, and now they're going to believe that I like cake, when in fact I do not like cake. Well, we're going to talk about Cake Bash, which is coming to Switch. It is a manic party game for up to four players where the goal is to make yourself as irresistible as possible. <laughs> it's like real life. <laughs> yeah. Cover yourself in chocolate, cover yourself in jelly beans, and all other manner of sugar-studded goodies to become the tastiest cake, but watch out because your rivals will do anything to stop. This is real life. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> Your rivals may clout you with a spork, knock you into pigeon poop, or cover you in gunk. I hate the poop one in particular. That happens to me way too often. <laughs> Seriously, it's happened to you? I don't know. I have to my car a lot. My car is like a magnet. Well, it's happened to me walking across the street when I was probably about 12 years old. That's why my yours, grandmother that's, told me it was good luck. It is. That's why you're, I was going to say, that's why you're as blessed as you are. <laughs> <laughs> Play up to four players locally online uh, or battle against bots. It's a simple three button control scheme that any cake fan can play. Oh, um, wait, they what if you're like it, me and you don't like cake? Well, Gabe, then you have to get into some of these modes. There is uh, Get Tasty, uh, Fruity, Clafooties, and a uh, they, they tout these modes as they're modes for any glucose guzzling gamer. <laughs> Guys, I'm not joking. I hate cake, just so you know. <laughs> plays your favorite cake in a variety of levels. I don't know. It it looks simple, but I, I go back to the um, old adage that Astro Bear's Party was a very small, simple game, and it's one of the greatest. So, hey, maybe Cake Bash will join the bunch. I love, the, I love how you said adage. I love it. <laughs> Thanks, man. Try, trying to be uh, educational as well as informative. Trick Art Dungeon. By the way, there's no date yet for... Um, for, for this cake bash game uh, sometime next year though so you have a lot Gabe, you, have, you have a year to get get adjusted to cake okay okay Tr trick art dungeon is an optical illusion puzzle adventure game with trick art elements art is always tricky i find i, I mean even if it's not trick art i don't want to be tricked or tricked on uh but it, it is tricky art it honestly reminds me of the um you know the go series of games like tomb raider go yeah okay Deus Ex go it, it reminds me of that it looks like you have a little bit more freedom in your movement um but it does include beautiful graphics and sounds easy to control exciting action uh unforgettable story and puzzles now it does have touch and swipe actions so wait was this a mobile i bet game? you can guess where this came from oh. yeah it um it won awards so it is a a, a game of quality and um, there's no data price yet that's obviously gonna be important but it does look kind of cool and gabe it's like it's pretty sad because this is about a child um who lost their parents in a museum and you have to guide the child back to his parents oh they like lost him as okay i thought like like the child like the parents died in a museum accident of some kind okay oh no 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 i think he's just <laughs> he's lost in this very tricky museum oh like giant snakes in this museum Dude, and hey stuff. Goodness museums great. are tricky I, I vacuumed one. <laughs> like, not oh, yeah, I remember that. Oh, boy. <laughs> that, was it hard to navigate around all the dinosaurs yeah, and the I, cavemen? I, there was one dinosaur. It's not that big of a museum. But, yeah. It was still tricky. All right. Well, you know what else is tricky? Huh? Big sisters. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. I don't have one, but I, I, don't, I don't see it being a very fun time. Or maybe it is a fun time, depending on your sister. But uh, in my big sister... An RPG-like adventure from indie developer Stranga Games. You take on the role of Luzia, a 12-year-old, um, and 
you got to try to help you and your big sister out because you've both been kidnapped, which is rough. So you're solving puzzles, finding items, completing secrets, and hopefully seeing multiple endings through this pixel art top-down RPG game that is made for you, Gabe. Has an original soundtrack, a unique chapter-based story, another pixelated game for Switch. Can't hurt, right? At some point, if every if every pixelated game is like a little rock, right? At some point, does mm-hmm. a, does it, it just weighs too much and everything just like falls? Is that what's happening? <laughs> I don't know. I, I don't. I also don't have a big sister, so. Well, you can find out what it's like on May tenth. Oh, dude, I, ha- I have sisters and you don't. Guys, fun yeah, fact, I have I, sisters, Zach doesn't, huh? I have no idea what sisters are like. Yeah. Um, it's coming to all platforms, which is interesting. Sure. So, if you uh, you want to get the ending that two sisters deserve, it says you'll have your work cut out for you, and you'll also have $6 cut out of your wallet. <laughs> 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 Let's go to uh, this. This one looks pretty cool. This is Scrap Rush, double exclamation point. It's coming to Nintendo Switch. In the West this summer, it launched on eShop back in April, um, but it is a Bomberman type game, except in this, you are launching the blocks at your opponents. You have to gather scrap to launch at your blocks and crush, to launch blocks at your opponents and crush them against the wall while dodging attacks from your opponents. They claim it to be a hilarious Mm. robot affair. Oh, I I don't want to speak about affairs right now, Zach. No. There's things going on, but... Yeah, I mean, it's a Bomberman-like game. <laughs> it's very metal. Yeah. Wait, um, wait, like like, like Metallica? Wait, I don't even know what Metallica's metal, is it? <laughs> I think, uh, I think it is. Gosh, you're getting yourself into a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> um, this is the week where it's like, man, E3, we're ready for you. <laughs> so, I mean, look, there can always be gems amongst the, the, the rough. Aladdin's coming out soon. That's the lesson it taught me. Um, but let let's both be let's both be frank instead of Zach and Gabe and say that this week is definitely underwhelming. <laughs> That's putting it uh, lightly, I guess. Yeah, you're being nice. It's fine. Super Tennis Blast is coming to Switch on May 24th. So um, if either Mario Tennis Aces was your jam and you want more tennis action, or if Mario Tennis Aces wasn't your jam and was too expensive, uh, this is going to be a smaller affair. Um, where you can partake in all sorts of uh, courts and tournaments inspired by the Grand Slams. Uh, there won't be, you know, human real uh, tennis players, but you can make your own tennis player, Gabe. You can create your family, your friends, your favorite player, or yourself. And it has all sorts of modes like living net mode, crazy court mode. Um, there's multiplayer matches, and you can play locally or against the AI. No online, as far as I can tell. Okay, my favorite part of, about this game is that in watching the gameplay trailer, and most importantly, listening to the gameplay trailer, there is zero audio other than like the ball being hit. <laughs> like this, hey, tennis there, is a quiet sport. There's no music. There's no grunts. There's like nothing. Like whenever someone Welcome scores, there's life. an announcer, I guess, but. Yeah, the, in real life. Yeah, the presentation on this one is not high. Go play Mario Tennis instead. Okay. Um, I expect this to be pretty cheap. Uh, it is coming to Switch, Steam, PS4, and Xbox One. Okay. Let's take a look at QYO Blaster. Whoa. It is a horizontal shooter. Okay. <laughs> Gotta at least hear what's happening before you get sad. <laughs> um, Forever Entertainment is bringing their... Um, Bullet Hell action title to the Switch with all sorts of crazy characters. Hamsters, sharks, girls, um, all sorts of intriguing things. Uh, Zach, I'm not making this up. I'm not making this up. (laughs) I know a girl that was bit by a hamster yesterday. (laughs) God. Okay, it has 10 stages, um, different classes of characters, local co-op, super special powers, weapons and perks, a variety of enemies, difficulty levels, and more um if you like this kind of game it actually it looks kind of fun there's a lot going on it's got a good presentation style it's on like the crtv yeah um the menus which is which is kind of cute yeah this is one of the cooler looking ones of the week honestly um will i play it i don't know but you know maybe it's good yeah very positive reviews when it launched back in january of last year on steam now coming to your nintendo switch mm. switch, switch, switch 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 okay Last game, 
for the week. And, and okay, let, let it be known that this week did have some interesting announcements. They were just big enough to be covered on their own. So Devil May Cry, um, the the leaks of Darksiders 2, and Bio uh, Definitive, and Biomutant were like, those are pretty cool pseudo announcements, but. Yeah, we already talked about them in another video, unfortunately. Yeah. Chrono Sword is a pixel art, souls-like action adventure game, game combining all the good things of the last two years of Switch, pixel art and souls-like. Mm -hmm. um, it says, at first you will face the incredible atmosphere full of animations and art, and you'll be surprised that you can do so you can do such many of actions and interactions as you can and you can explore the inside and outside this is this copy is written so weird um its combat system is based on attack dodge and shield like dark souls but there are contextual actions like last of us they're really just trying to pack in everything that's popular last of us <laughs> dark souls pixel art is, is it gonna be a roguelike next um god i hope not yeah. it says you can fight like a skillful expert but you also don't have to memorize long skill lists um, there are charming characters and epic stories. Uh, it's not coming till 2021, so we have two years what? to figure out what exactly is going on here. What? Okay, games take a long time. Have you ever, <laughs> have you ever made a game? No, I have not. Before you laugh it off, I'm not, okay, this game is made. I'm not laughing at the game. The game actually looks kind of cool. I'm just the date 2021. It's made by 21 Ducks, so they have to bring in the game in 2021. Quack quack. I just love that they're giving you Dark Souls, Pixel Art, and Last of Us all at well, once. I mean, it honestly looks kind of neat. Like, yeah, no, I like it, 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 it does. I thought it was going to come out this year. I'm like, hey, th I'll play this. This is something. Yeah, yeah. time travel. I don't even know if we're going to be alive in 2021. Yes, Gabe. That's terrible. <laughs> Take that back. Oh, sure. Take it back. Alive and well. And we're going to be so alive and well because <laughs> you're going to pick one of these games that you're going to love and is going to keep you going by 2021. Which one do you love? I wanted to pick this, but it's it's in 2021. I guess the cake <laughs> one doesn't seem as offensive as the other ones to me. Okay. <laughs> what's it called? That's cake your pick? pick? What's it called? Cake Blast? Yo, that's Cake Bash, Gabe. That's what I want to pick. Dang it. <laughs> We're both going to throw cake at each other. Any three. Dude, I want to throw pigeon poop at you and try to become irresistibly delicious. <laughs> Do you think they'll let me take pigeon poop through, through the TSA? <laughs> Security, let me take some okay, pigeon poop for okay, sec. Okay. Look, if Cake Bash is like, you know, three bucks or something, sure. it could be cool. Yeah, it could be. But it's not coming out till next year, gosh. Uh, you know, this is where it is good that the, the, the hype cycles have gotten shorter. Yeah. Well, <laughs> that's the list for this week. A weird list. We're sorry, guys. We don't make these games. <laughs> or maybe we do, and that's why they're like this. <laughs> no. <laughs> We absolutely don't, nor do we select what gets announced when. It's just a slower week. But again, there was some third-party stuff that's pretty exciting. Uh, you know, the Darksiders stuff. Honestly, if Darksiders and Biomutant had come out in an official capacity, we would have included them here. But given that there's still leaks, like, it just doesn't... I don't know. We already discussed it. So those are your seven for this week. Let us know if any of these are exciting to you. If none is an option for you this week, it's fine. It's okay. <laughs> we'll allow it. Um... <laughs> And, you know, make sure to hit that like button and leave a comment if you'd like to be entered to win SteamWorld Quest, which is a shining star in an otherwise uh, cloudy sky. So thanks for being here. Have fun. We'll see you next week. Hopefully the list is a little bit more awesome. But for now, you're awesome. The Switch is awesome. I am? So you are, Gabe, oh, man. Oh, man. Awesome. By awesome golly. Guy, know. Get out there and enjoy your weekend. See the Buy stars. Buy some foil smell paper, guys. Go play the Switch outside. It's been really nice in Indiana. I don't know about in Texas, but it's been it's, nice here in Indiana. It's been windy. Yeah, it was windy here too. Yeah. Maybe, maybe maybe the wind of my words carried to you in Texas, and you heard my, my whispers about this week's really mediocre list of games. All right. I tried to tell you yesterday, Gabe. Hmm. Tried to warn you. And I wouldn't listen. All right, well, let us know your take in the comments below. Have a fantastic day. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, for myself and Gabe and Cake Bash and Super Tennis Blast and the rest of the list, Switch Force out.